prime vocal by Sonable aims to be a sort of ultimate vocal fix and mix tool. This plugin introduces Sonable's take on denoise and dereverb while also throwing in extra tools that make sense when working with a voice. All of the five modules included are equal. In other words, Prime Vocal is not purely a dereverb and denoise tool, but just as much a voice cleanup and mix tool. The dereverb and denoise tools speak for themselves, and we will dive in those deeper later in this video, where we will do a comparison between Prime Vocal and these because they are alternatives to denoising and dereverbing and more in one way or another. First, we need to tackle the big elephant in the room, and that is the compatibility, because Prime Vocal can work as either a standalone app or as a ERA2 plugin only. Now, I use Cubase, which has excellent ERA2 support, and I can open Prime Vocal without any issue. In this regard, it works like, for instance, the Isotope RX editor and Spectral Layers. For me, it's a bit hard to understand why Prime Vocal isn't a regular AU, AAX or VST3 plugin. Maybe that's because of how this plugin works, but also some of its functions. Prime Vocal can actually automate the five control modules with a curve, and this isn't something I have seen in plugins that often. Now you can automate regular plugins in your DAW of course, which doesn't help understanding why Sonable has chosen this specific route. And I think that because Prime Vocal is either a standalone app or an ARA plugin, it will be a deal breaker for a lot of potential users. For instance, I cannot use Prime Vocal in DaVinci Resolve. And with the standalone, you must have the audio file already separately available, which can be an extra step for those who work in video. Ok, back to the actual functionality of Prime Vocal. Besides these denoise and dereverb tools, you get dynamics, spectral balance and a vocal cleanup. These three feel like they are taken from existing Sonable plugins like Smart Comp, Smart DS and more to an extent in simplified form. You can load in files or simply drag and drop them in a standalone app. With ERA you enable the extension on an audio event. The Vocal Cleanup is a very simplified name for what it actually does, because this little dial does de-assing, deplosive and debreathing. It combines three essential vocal cleanup tools in one. Got a catch it before it passes on by. Got a catch it before it passes on by. Gotta catch it before it passes on by. Gotta catch it before it passes on by. Spectral balance is like a tonal control with the aim to get a more transparent and finished sound. It also removes some spectral issues. Think of a resonance suppression tailor-made for selectable voice types, while also adding different selectable tonal colors. Just keep on moving, I've never been so wide awake Is it too much to make you stay? Just keep on moving, I've never been so wide awake Is it too much to make you stay? Just keep on moving, I've never been so wide awake Is it too much to make you stay? Never been so been so ever been so I'd been so ever been so I never been so never been so I never been so I'd awake Dynamics is twofold. Besides adding compression, it also does level writing. In other words, it does automated volume changing. No, we won't turn away. We won't ever fade. Live to see a new day. The night when the young can be dumb and the stars are in our eyes. With no, we won't turn away. We won't ever fade. Live to see a new day. The night when the young can be dumb and the stars are in our eyes. When the young can be dumb and the stars are in our eyes. 
When the young can be dumb and the stars are in When the young can be dumb and the stars are in our eyes When the young can be dumb and the stars are in our eyes Now all of this is AI driven which is very much a dirty trend word right now But if there's one developer who can truthfully say they use AI in a proper way It is Sonable They have been doing this for years already now before we continue, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that little like button. Cover songs is probably one of the many types of songs you would love to do, but uploading to a streaming platform is always a hassle due to copyrights and required fee because you cover an original song. DistroKit makes this very easy for you by offering the option to do this all for you for $12 per song per year when you have a DistroKit subscription. Use my link in the description to get 7% off of your first year on a DistroKit. Now, what I think most users will be most interested in is the D-Reverb and D-Noise modules. Sonable calls the D-Reverb D-Room, which implies it's more suited for smaller spaces, which makes sense if you think where this plugin is aimed for. I will use Prime Vocal now as an era plugin for the next comparisons. I've pulled up the samples I always use with the noise and the reverb, which are very extreme in its noise and reverb. Far more than you normally would be okay with. Here they are. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. This is done to really test the plugins on how powerful they are, because frankly, with less noise and reverb, these all perform excellent. Let's start with the reverb. Warning, there will be a lot of repetition. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Here's the same corridor with me closer to the camera and microphone. Of these samples, Prime Vocal sounds best. I think. The source material matches Prime Vocal really well and the extra modules do lift the voice nicely. Let's continue with the noise. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. And let's find out how the plugin will actually handle my voice with these cooking and extractor hood noises in the background. There's a bit of room reverb in this noisy sample and Prime Vocal doesn't remove everything just as specs or layers. Sound-wise, these all are pretty close. Some tend to sound more spiky, where Prime Vocal is absolutely smoother. You can turn something which is really bad into something usable. And realistically, that is all you can get with these samples. If you think it will be great, now you have to adjust your expectations. As you can hear, the answer is not as simple as you might like. With the reverb and the noise, unfortunately, you always have to use a few plugins to find out which one works best. A while ago I mentioned in a Sonable review that they are one step away of creating a Isotop RX alternative. And while Prime Vocal isn't that yet, it's half a step away. 
the standalone and era functionality will be the biggest hurdle to check out this app. But if it's not and you need to fix, clean up and improve a voice, absolutely try out Prime Vocal to see if it fits in your audio toolshed.